Hi everyone! Today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite recipes braised chicken feet with mushrooms. This is a dish that I like to cook up when I feel lazy and I don't want to go out grocery shopping because I have most of the ingredients ready in my kitchen. For example, the chicken feet, I usually have a packet or two of that in the freezer and the rest of the spices, I have most of them in the pantry. I like to keep dried shiitake mushrooms in the fridge so that I can use them anytime I want to cook up a dish. Recently, I like the small little ones because they are so easy to work with and you don't have to slice them. Start off by dry frying the spices like star anise, cardamom, one black cardamom, cloves, black peppercorns or white peppercorns if you have that, and three bay leaves. Dry fry them for three minutes until you can smell their fragrance. Then toss in the galangal, ginger and garlic cloves. For these three items, just lightly smash them with the side of your knife. Then you're going to throw in the soaked mushrooms. I didn't bother to remove the stems because these mushrooms are so small. And it reduces food wastage, so why not just keep them? Then in with 2 litres of water. If you don't have all the spices that I've shown you earlier, it's fine. As long as you have a little bit of 5 spice powder, which is always handy to keep in the kitchen. I prefer to use rock sugar rather than just normal sugar, but you could just use ordinary caster sugar or fine sugar if you don't have rock sugar. So while waiting for the mushrooms to cook, you're going to blanch the chicken feet just for a few minutes and then take them out and plunge them into iced water. You could skip this step of soaking them in iced water if you want to. This basically just helps to stop the cooking process when you blanch the chicken feet. And some people say that soaking them in iced water lends them a chewier texture. But that's up to you. Then you're going to throw in light soya sauce, dark soya sauce, and salt. You can adjust the proportions of these um, seasoning items to suit your own preference and taste. My little secret is that I like to throw in a few pandan leaves in there when I'm making braising sauces because it adds to the aroma. But if you don't have it, that's fine. And if you like peanuts and you don't want to cook them from scratch, there's no shame in opening up a can of braised peanuts. Just throw them in there and let them come to a boil so that everything is piping hot when you serve it. And it goes very well with a bowl of brown rice or if you like noodles, cook up whatever noodles that you have and then you can enjoy a very nice dish of braised chicken feet noodles with mushrooms. And don't forget to keep the braising sauce because you can use it again as a base for braising other things. Hope you enjoyed this recipe and for more recipes, go to straightstimesfood.com